Hi, hey, Tony Vega. It's Aussie villain. Oh, mate, if I was any better, I'd be dangerous. What about yourself? Hitting home runs like a boss right now. Oh, mate, it is great to see. Somewhat out of the blue. Um, you're not doping, are you, mate? Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome back to the Detroit Tigers, Season 6, Episode 4 today. We're going to be facing the Oakland A's, and we're going to be doing it at the top of the, a, uh, what do we, the American League, aren't we? The American League Central, and since last episode, things have just gone shockingly well again. Um, actually, they've been a little bit, not quite shockingly well, but what has been shocking is... Tony Vega, 25 home runs he has hit all of a sudden, 64 RBIs, he's leading the American League and everything, and it has come a little bit out of the blue, which does make me wonder ever so slightly, but uh, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt, and uh, well, let's go and see how exactly we have been getting on here. Now, of course, we left off with this uh, exciting game, wasn't it really, against the Raging Cajuns, uh, and then we went and we faced Boston, and we swept them in a series, uh, and in game two here, this life in the old dog yet because we had a complete game i think it was this one anyway out of uh, de grom so we can see there everybody's uh, hitting numbers uh one little piece of good news too and we'll see everybody's stats in a moment is abrams seems to have recovered his form but yeah there we go there de grom a complete game which is wonderful seven hits only one earned run and uh yeah see he can still do it even if he is an old man uh so then we had uh, the series here against boston against boston against uh, tampa bay we won two of three against them there uh we went to toronto we won the first one but then we lost the next two there is a little bit of a theme here in that our pitches are getting expensive um, which isn't great. Uh, then we sort of had the slump we sometimes get when we play teams in our division. We lost uh, two of three against the Twins, which isn't ideal. But uh, we had then won two of three against Kansas, including, that's right, we scored uh, seven runs in the 11th to win that one. Um, uh, they just imploded. I don't know what happened there. And then we swept the, uh, the Guardians. Now, you'll notice high scoring, but close gains for the most part. Yeah, slightly concerned about our pitching, if I'm honest. Uh, we then faced uh, Chicago. We won only won one of three against them. Then we this is where we had a little bit of a mini slump to start the month of uh, of June, to be honest, because we won one game of three in Seattle, which is always disappointing. Oh, uh, this uh, series here against uh, against the White Sox, game one, the game that we did win, it featured a Vega grand slam. He also hit a solo home run, so he was responsible for all five of our uh, of our runs in that game so wonderful wonderful stuff uh won't surprise you to know that he was the uh the player of the game as well but uh yeah well done mr vega uh then we played the yankees again we only won one of three although we did blank them in that one it wasn't it was a bullpen was uh, involved it wasn't a single player shutout um and we've won one of two against oakland so far so we've got game three of the series coming up which is exciting hopefully we can go and uh, get the the money game there as well uh now you can see here i won't zoom in just yet because you can see over here riley green is second in batting averages vega is leading the league in home runs and rbis uh in slugging percentage on base plus slug we have two of the top three in vega and otani so the bats are absolutely brilliant uh, pitching which does kind of go behind my head here but the Grom is second in wins uh, we have Klein second in um, in saves but there's nothing really else to write home about in terms of our pitches uh, now you can see that the division there as well recent form last 10 has not been great but before that we were absolutely flying and um, yeah we don't need to worry about the wild card because we're three games clear of the White Sox five of the Royals and uh it goes a little bit on from there now the A's who we're facing today they are currently uh 38 and 36 so they're not a terrible team they are above 500 but hopefully we're going to uh push them one game away from uh, from being 500 exactly now our pitching staff that we have made one change and uh, that is uh, Griff McGarry we've dropped him down he just was not doing particularly well uh, we've called up Tommy Groom. Now, he was, I think, our number one draft pick one year. We'll have a look at him in just a second. And, well, he had, he's had one start. It didn't go well. It actually went quite badly, but I'm sure he'll bounce back. And uh, But everybody else there, the, the ERAs are a little high. As I said, L Wiki is pushing my patience a little bit. Um, Maranacchio, we know he's good, so I'm not too concerned about him. Uh, and the other one is Jimmy Wilson as well, who it's his first year up and... He is, again, he just needs to... What he does, though, is he does he does okay, and then he'll have one really bad outing, and it'll it'll just sort of destroy his stats again. So I don't think he's quite ready. But uh, Tommy Groom, let's go and have a look at him. This is him here. He was 
a draft pick. Yeah, he was our third overall pick in uh, 2023. So what's that? Three, four years ago now. He is... Well, he was supposed to be better, which is why he was the third pick overall. He's not quite done what we hoped he would. If we have a look at his career to date, you can see this last season in AAA, or this current season in AAA, he was doing well, which is why I called him up. Uh, is it a little bit too soon? Does he need the full season? He's sort of been working his way up through the through the farm system. Uh, it was a little bit a case of needs must as well. So we're not going to judge him on one start, but he is going to need to improve uh, moving forward. If we have a look at the bats, the bats are absolutely beautiful. Uh, we haven't had the need to change anything. Uh, we have several guys batting uh, sort of around that 300 mark as well, which is good. And yeah, like I say, Tony Vega is just man on fire right now so that is that is really really good and uh, like i say abrams as well worth pointing him out he has uh he has turned his season around and he's beginning to look a lot better now considering how bad he was to have these numbers where they are right now is uh is very impressive as a matter of fact uh, all right that is everything caught up on so let's go and have a look at the lineups for this game in oakland all right, then this is it here. So CJ Abrams leads us off at second base. Riley Green bats second in left field. It's Otani batting third in right field. Vega is a detonator hitter and bats uh, clean up. It is Keston Hewer at first base batting five. JP Crawford at third base batting uh, six. Takazawa, our center fielder, batting seven. Blake Hunt, the catcher, batting uh, eight. It's Jose Lopez at shortstop batting nine. Manoa is on the uh, on the mound again this episode, so we'll see how he gets on. Hopefully he'll have uh, not one bad inning this time. We're up against Adrian Martinez for them. He has a 3-5 record, an ERA of 4.79, a whip of 144. So similar record to Alec Manoa, just not quite as good. So let's hope that uh, if the pitching is roughly even, that our bats come up big for us here. All right, so here we are in Oakland. CJ Abrams to lead us off, now batting 242 this season. Now he has managed to get his 700th career hit since we last saw him. So uh, let's hope he can add to that here. And we can find ourselves with a nice uh, a nice victory over the A's. And, well, he's hit him. That seems rude. So he'll go to first. He's examining his knee. We had to take him out of the ball game. So Edwards should come in. He does. That's fine. He's just, it's, it's still a good base runner. He'll play second base. Riley Green comes in, batting 347. And Riley Green hits into a double play. Excellent start. So, two out, no one on now. It's going to be Shohai Otani batting 251. Now, he has hit his 250th uh, career RBI. That career RBI. Career uh, home run. He's lined that one out. And that will do it for the first. It started so well, didn't it? Carl Stevenson will lead them off batting 269. It's a 3-0 pitch for Manoa. And, uh, well, he does issue a four-pitch walk to start things off. Marcelo Meyer is a name that sounds familiar to me. He's batting 271 this season. A 2-1 pitch. He lays down a bunt out from behind the plate. Oh, this is a disaster. All right, guys, let's just let's stop this. Let's just go back and start this game again, please. So no one out. Runners at first and second. They are second and third. Sorry, they haven't had a hit yet. Jordan Diaz is at the plate, batting 249 this season. A 1-2 pitch. Manoa gets a strikeout. So that is one away. Uh, Garcia, Dermis Garcia batting 232, a 1-1 pitch. That's popped up. And it is caught by Hura. So that is two away now. Can we get ourselves out of this? Jock Pedersen batting 224 comes in. A 3-0 pitch. And that looks big. And that is big. That actually looks quite huge. How big is that? 402 feet. So it is 3-0. A disastrous first inning does indeed get worse and it is Ramos coming in now batting 238 so a walk an error and a home run and the bottom of the first uh, pretty much is a disaster but there we go we're out of it now and it is Tony Vega to lead us off he has been in wonderful form batting 306 this season an 0-1 pitch and Vega hits it well but straight to right field and that is one away Keston Huron now batting 256. And let's see what he can do. A 1 2 pitch. He watches it go through for strike three. It brings J. Creepy. Try that again. J.P. Crawford batting 299. Now he has got uh, 200 career doubles since uh, we saw him last, but that is grounded out the first. And that will do it for the top of the second. Let's hope the bottom of the second goes a little bit better for us. Shea Langliers, who is a name I remember because I can never say it. 
He's batting 200. He'll be batting 190-something now because that is out at first. And it will bring in Alcantara, not that one. He's batting 133, a 1-0 pitch, a ball through the right side of the infield for a one-out single. And it will bring in Dylan Cup, who is 0 for 7 this season. There goes the runner. Can Hunt nail him at second? No, he can't. Though after his effort in the first, at least he didn't send it out into center field, I suppose. All right, 1-1 one, one on Cup, and that is very well hit, and uh, this is going very, very wrong very, very quickly. So it is 4-0 now, runner at second, one away. And uh, Manoa is not having his greatest day, is he? We've got Stevenson up, who walked on four pitches last time. This time he grounds at the first. Manoa covers the base, and that is two away. To be fair to Manoa... Well, no, not to be fair to him. I mean, there was one error. The rest of it was his fault. But we get out of that just giving up the one. So it's 4 nothing. The good news is it's only the third, so there's time to recover. But uh, the bad news is we don't particularly look like it's our day today. A 1-0 pitch on Takazawa. Back to the pitcher, out at first. Blake Hunt will come in now, batting 193. Now, there is a little bit of news on our catches. Jake Rogers, who was sort of sharing the role with Hunt to start the season off as Hunt gets himself a one-out single. I put here, well, he had to go on waivers because I wanted to keep uh, Thomas Nido in the Major League side when uh, Rogers came back from injury. And he got claimed by Cleveland, I think it was. So, um, that's a double play. No, it's not. It's just one. So, yeah, we've lost Rogers, which is absolutely fine because we have, we have uh, quite a few catches. I went on a bit of a free agency... Uh, run a little while ago and just signed up a whole bunch of them as Lopez gets his second base steal of the season. And let's see what Edwards can do now, batting 221. He is in a slump. It's a 3-1 pitch here. He's got that down two into right field and it's going to score uh, Lopez. He'll stay at first. So it's an RBI single. It's 4-1 to one, and it's Riley Green who into a double play last time, I believe. And 0-1 uh, pitch is hit to center field. It is caught, and it will end at the top of the third. But we do pull one back, so that's something. Manoa will face Diaz now, who's 0-1. for 1. It's an 0-2 pitch, and it is into the right center field gap. The thing I, I have an issue here with Manoa is that they are clearly all over him, aren't they? Anytime they hit him, it is, it's, it's a... Good contact, and that is always worrying. Garcia now, who is 0 for 1, comes in. A first pitch swing. He lines it straight to the shortstop. So uh, that is one away. Runner stays at second. Jock Pedersen, who hit the three-run massive home run last time up. This time around, he strikes out. So that is two away. And could we be in for a scoreless inning here? Ramos, who is 0 for 1. It's a full count. And it is indeed a scoreless inning. It's another strikeout for Manoa. It is 4-1 as we go into the fourth. And Otani will lead us off 0-1 today. Now, he has 99 career RBIs. So if he could uh, score a home run, which he's not going to do with that. Uh, not career RBI, sorry, for the Tigers. I can't even read my own writing here. This is ridiculous. It's Vega now, a 1-2 pitch. He strikes out. That's two away. And Keston Hura now. You might as well try and swing for a fence, mate. Two out, no one on. He instead will rip it through the left side of the infield for a two-out single. All right, JP Crawford now, who is 0 for 1. A 3-0. Okay, so tying run will come to the plate here. A bit of a two-out rally. It's Takazawa, who's 0 for 1. Takazawa, first pitch. It's to third. Oh, they've muffed it. And suddenly it is bases loaded with two out. And it's Blake Hunt who does have a hit today already. It's a 1 2 pitch, and Blake Hunt strikes out. Oh, we leave him loaded. And Shea Longliers will lead them off 0 for 1 today, a full count. And he watches strike 3, 1 away. Alcantara now, who is 1 for 1, another full count. And this time it's a walk, so 1 out with the man at first for Dylan Cup, who is 1 for 1 today. An 0-2 pitch. Make that a strikeout for two away. Manoa, he's well, he's so such a frustrating pitcher, isn't he? When he looks good, he looks so, so good. But he also can look, you know, like he's a guy they pulled out of the pub to get on the mound. Anyway, so it is 4-1 going into the fifth. Lopez will lead us off. He's 0-1 today. And is that going to drop in for us? It is not. Centerfield comes in to make the catch. One away. 
Xavier Edwards now, who is one for one. A first pitch swing. Edwards down to third base. And, oh, that's a play. Wow. Well, you've just got to stand up and applaud that, don't you? Riley Green now, who is 0 for 2. A 2-0 pitch. Riley Green has got it through the right side of the infield. So that is a two-out single. Can we repeat what we did last time? It's Otani now, who's 0 for 2. A 1-0 pitch. Shohai has popped that up. And that will end the fifth. So it's four hits apiece, one error apiece, but we're losing 4-1 as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Mayer will lead them off to face Manoa. A 1-1 pitch, and that is well hit. Can Takazawa make the catch? No. So a leadoff single. It brings in uh, Diaz, who is one for two now. A 3-1 pitch. And that is sliced away into right field. Otani is there. You don't run on Otani's arm. So one away man at first for Garcia, who's 0 for 2. It's a 1-2 pitch. It's a ground ball. It could be a double play. No, runner at second is out. But there's no uh, there's no risk of a double play there. So Pedersen, who's 1 for 2. 2 out, 1 on. Oh, he's done it again. And it is 6-1. Only 379 feet this time. And it might be time for Manoa to put his feet up, I think. And it is indeed as Mike Ruff comes out to face Ramos. So it's, what, 4.2 inning for Manoa. Uh, it won't be six earned runs, but it'll probably be... Uh, it'll be five, won't it? I can never work out how many it should be. Anyway, so there we go. We'll go to the top of the sixth. Vega will lead us off. An 0-1 pitch. And Vega has not quite... Managed to uh, do what Pedersen did, and he gets caught in right field. It brings Keston Hura to the plate, who's one for two. It's a 1-1 pitch. Keston Hura into left field. Is that going to drop? It is. So Keston Hura gets his second single of the game. Crawford now, who's 0 for 1. An 0-1 pitch. Crawford. Ah, oh, this team, honestly. Just when you think like things are going well, they go and do this to you. Ruff will face Longliers, who is 0 for 2. It's a 2-0 pitch. And that should be caught. Green comes in. Makes a simple catch. And that is one away. It brings in uh, Alcantara now, who's one for one. A full count. And a strikeout for Mr. Ruff. But Cup to come up now. He is one for two today as well. It's a 2-2 pitch. And Mike Ruff sits him back down. It's a nice quick sixth inning for us. We go to the seventh. We need to start getting some jobs done here, don't we? It's Takazawa. He's 0 for 2. It's a 1-1 pitch. And that is a ground ball to third base. And that is out at first. Blake Hunt now, who's 1 for 2. An 0-2 pitch. And Hunt, oh, lines it straight to shortstop. Unlucky. So 2 away for Lopez, who's 0 for 2. It's a 1-1 pitch. And Lopez down the first base line. It's fielded. It's out. And we will be stretching at 6-1 down in California. So, Carl Stevenson, I think we're in California, aren't we? I'm sure Oakland's just north of LA. Uh, it's south anyway at first. Excellent stuff. Xavier Edwards with the play. Ruff will face Mayer now, who's one for two. It's an 0-1 pitch. And that is popped up. Lopez should have that. And does. Two away. Mike Ruff just does a decent job out of the bullpen, doesn't he? ERA of 262 now this season. A 1-2 pitch. And uh, that should be caught out there by Green. And we'll go to the eighth. We need five runs in two inning, and we are going to be led off by Xavier Edwards to face the new man, Dylan Tate, who has an ERA this season of 363. It's a full count. Can Edwards get himself on base here? Come on, Xavier. We need a base runner. And that is going to drop in, and Xavier is quick. It's going to be at least a double. He slides into second. So a leadoff double for Edwards. And let's see if we can make this our inning now. Green, who is one for three. A 1-0. Green. Oh, he slaps it up the middle. And that should score. Edwards, he turns. He comes. And Riley Green delivers the RBI single. It's 6-2. Runner at first. No one out here in the top of the eighth. It is Otani now, who's 0 for three. And Otani double play. No, it's just one. All right. One away with the man at first. And Green is... Got a bit of a knock, but he can stay in the game. Vega now, who's 0 for 3. It's a 2-2 pitch. 
Vega, that could be a double play. One and two. And we'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It is rough to face Garcia, who's over three. It's a 1-0-1 one, uh, oh, one pitch, sorry. It is caught by Xavier Edwards. So that is one away. Jock Pedersen now, who has two home runs and five RBIs already today. Uh, I'm not going to say he's not my favorite player right now, but he's grounded that out for two away. Ramos, who's 0 for 3. It's an 0 1 pitch. It is slapped up the middle, drops in for a two out single. And Ron Maranacchio will come into the game now to face Longlier's, who is 0 for 3. We couldn't have got him out that there. That guy's so going to say that stupid name again. That is into right field. That is going to drop in as well. So two out, two on now. Maranacchio to face Alcantara, who is one for two. A one-two pitch. That is caught, is it? Oh, a nice catch by Crawford. So it's 6-2 going into the ninth. It's the bottom of the order. It's Dalton Jeffries coming out for them. He has an ERA this season of 351. And let's see what we can do. Hura is two for three today. And again, we need base runners. It's a 2-2 pitch. And he strikes out one away. JP Crawford now, who is 0 for 2. It's a 2-1 pitch. And JP Crawford, is that going to drop in for us? It is. So JP gets on. A first hit of the night. One out, one on. For Takazawa, who's 0 for 3. It's a 1-1 pitch. It's the wrong part of the order, isn't it? Takazawa. Oh, that might end it. It doesn't. Runner at second is out. Takazawa at first for Blake Hunt, who is one for three. It's a first pitch swing. And Blake Hunt lines it straight back to the pitcher. You could not write that. Unbelievable. So, yeah, Manoa, just not his day, was it? He got absolutely, he got Manoa'd by, uh, by Pedersen, didn't he? So maybe a little bit unlucky to have Pedersen on that day. Uh, the CJ Abrams injury is diagnosis pending, which is always a nervy time, isn't it? But Xavier Edwards came in and did fine. And actually, did he lose his frosty streak? He did. So he's back in form and uh, we'll hopefully see much more of him to come. Now, that's, uh, that's obviously it. If you've enjoyed that, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. We'll be back. Uh, we'll be back post-All-Star game. So we'll be hosting Toronto. Uh, we will review the All-Star game. We should have a few guys, I would imagine, I mean, DeGrom might be in line for a call-up. I mean, Green, Vega, the way he's going, would have to go. So there's going to be a few of us, hopefully. And uh, we'll wrap that up and then hopefully go and beat the Jays at home as well. So until then, I've been Ozzy Bell, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.